Hey guys, dudes, Corey here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve PLL. Now, there are 21 different PLL algorithms, and I'll go through all of them for you. One thing I want to mention real quick is that I don't remember the names of which ones were number one version, number two version. For all of you that are new at this, you probably have no idea what you mean, what I mean, but you'll understand pretty soon. I'll have the list of number one or version number version one or version two of the algorithm listed up there, as well as the picture of the algorithm and the notation for the algorithm. I am not going to be saying any of the notation for this because I don't remember all of it. Most of it just becomes muscle memory. So I'll perform the algorithm slowly. Um, I'll make it. I'll make it slow. Uh, and then I'll have the algorithm listed right up there for you guys. That way you can see what the algorithm is. Um, so that way when I'm performing the algorithm, you can see how it works and then also have the algorithm listed in front of you. And one other thing is that I will be performing these algorithms in, in how I memorize them. So they're going to be in the exact order of how I learned them. So anyway, let's go ahead and get on to it. The very first one is the T perm. And this is when these two edges need to swap and these two corners need to swap. And it looks like this. Next up, we have the Y perm when this corner and this corner need to swap and these two edges need to swap. And it looks like this. Next up, we have one of the U perms. I don't remember which one this is, but this is when the edge needs to go over to here, this one needs to go to here, and this one needs to go to here, and it looks like this. The next algorithm is when this edge needs to go to here, this one needs to go to here, and this one needs to go to here, and it looks like this. The next algorithm is the H perm, when these edges and these edges need to swap, and it looks like this. The next algorithm is the Z perm, when these edges and these edges need to swap, and it looks like this. The next algorithm, which is the J perm, when these two corners and these edges need to swap, and it looks like this. The next algorithm is the L perm, and is when these corners and these edges need to swap, and it looks like this. The next algorithm, which is the V perm, when these two edges and these two corners need to swap, which is one of the algorithms that most people don't like, looks like this. The next algorithm is one of the A perms. I don't remember which A perm this is, but this is when this corner needs to go to here, this corner needs to go to here, and this one needs to go to here. This algorithm looks like this, and you hold it from the bottom. The next algorithm is the F perm, when these two corners and these two edges need to swap, and it looks like this. The other A perm, which I don't remember which one this one is, is when this corner needs to go to here, this one needs to go to here, and this one needs to go to here. This algorithm 
holding from the bottom looks like this. The next algorithm, which is one of the R perms, I don't remember which R perm this is, is when these two corners need to swap and these two edges need to swap. This algorithm looks like this. The other R perm algorithm, which I also don't remember which one this one is, is when these two edges need to swap and these two corners need to swap. It looks like this. The next algorithm, which is one of the end perms, which is when this corner and this corner need to swap and these two edges need to swap, it looks like this. The next algorithm, which is another one of the end perms, is when these two edges need to swap and these two corners need to swap. This algorithm looks like this. The next algorithm, which is the E perm, which is one that tends to get hard to recognize, is when this edge and this edge need to swap, and this edge and this edge need to swap. This one, you hold from the bottom, and looks like this. The last four algorithms are all G perms and tend to be ones that lots of people don't like and get very hard to recognize. And I don't remember which ones are which, but this G perm is when this edge needs to go to here, this edge needs to go to here, this corner needs to go down to here, this one needs to go to here, and this needs to go to here. This algorithm looks like this. Turn face. The next G perm is when this corner needs to go to here, this one needs to go to here, and this one needs to go to here, and this edge needs to go to here, this edge needs to go to here, and this one needs to go to here. This algorithm looks like this. Turn face. The next G perm is this one, when the corner, this corner needs to go to here, this one needs to go to here, and this one needs to go to here, and this edge needs to go here, this one needs to go here, and this one needs to go here. This algorithm will look like this. Turn face. The last G perm and the last PLL is another G perm, and it's when this edge needs to go to here, and this one needs to go here, and this one needs to go here, and this corner needs to go to there, and this one needs to go to here, and this one needs to go to here. This algorithm will look like this. Turn face. All right, so there you have it. There is all the PLL algorithms. I know that there's lots of different variations of these algorithms. Um, I'll eventually post all the different kinds of variations in the future. Um, these are just PLLs that I learned with using. So definitely would recommend starting with using these algorithms. I know that there's a lot more advanced ones or ones better that are longer except better for finger tricks. There's all kinds of different algorithms for all the different perms, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask down in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. If I can't answer the, uh, if I don't get around to answering them, I'm sure some other cubers might be able to help you. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please remember to hit that like button down below and be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as those bell notifications to be for looking out for future tutorials because I will be posting 
pretty soon an entire uh, CFOP tutorial. And all the tutorials as well as that tutorial when it's released will be down in the description so you can go and check those out. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.